This video is to show you how to create a digital signature using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. It's important to note in the portal that your existing signatures, if they were created in a previous version of Adobe, won't upload successfully in NLRP as Reader DC now has a, a greater level of encryption within their digital signatures. So it is required to create a new digital signature using Adobe um, DC, either the reader version or the full professional version if you have it. Um, the reader DC is a free software update for your Adobe license, so you don't need to purchase any new additional software. You can upgrade your, your reader DC for free online. So to create your signature with DC, we just open up the program. We go to the edit tool and move down to preferences. We will then select the signatures option in our preferences and we will go to the identities and trusted certificates option here. Click on the more button and it will open a new window. We are going to add a new digital ID to our, our PC. So we will create a new digital ID and hit next. It's going to be a PKCS hash 12 digital ID file we create. Um, and now we just start filling in the details for our signature. I'll create one for me. In Australia. We can leave the algorithm and the user digital ID as preset in the fields. Hit next. This is where it will want to actually save your, your digital ID file either on your PC. So you can, it'll default to the Adobe file system. Um, you can change it to save on your server or a different location within your, your desktop PC. For those exercises, I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. And we also set the password here. So this is your unique password. And this has now created our digital file. Um, you can see your name has come up in the list now. While we're in this list, this is what we now need to export your um, encryption code to LandGate so we can validate your your PDF upon upload into the portal. So to do that, you just go, once you've highlighted your name in the list, you just go to the export button. We was going to save the data to a file, hit next, and this will then save it as a certificate exchange file. We want to actually change the type to be, instead of the Adobe specific FDF, extension, we will change it to a generic extension, which is the P7C. So just change the file type to a P7C, save it to um, a location either the same as your other one or somewhere on your, your network or system. I'm going back to the desktop. And this is the file that we then um, email into LandGate. We email it to rrp at landgate.wa.gov.au. Um, we will then upload this encryption key into NLRP and it will then auto-validate your signature once you upload your PDF in the portal. So that's now saved to our computer. All we need to do now is we can close that window and we can set up the appearance of our, our signature file. So we can do that straight from the, the preferences table all we do is go to the first option, we creation and appearance, click on the more option. This is then, we will go to new, create a new signature appearance. So I will put in my name. Um, it will default just to have text for your name with um, name and date are defaulted on here with logos and labels. We will import a graphic as per um, previous signature things where we can find our PDF of our, our physical wet signature. I'll just dig mine off desktop. I've saved it there. PDF. So that's just the scan of my signature. 
um, set at 600 dpi within um, the, I think it's the two centimeter by six centimeter um, window, which will fit generally within your Reg 54 certificates. Okay, that. So it's going to preview what it looks like. We can turn off the name, so it'll just have the date and our signature. We can also turn off the Adobe logo and any labels. So all it's really going to show is your your signature and the date. You can include your name if you wish. Um, I generally don't. And hit OK to that. <laughs> I've got two in there now. That one was from before, so I'll delete that. Um, so your parents will come up in a list. You can have multiple different appearances depending on who's signing and OK that. That then has now set your digital signature. I'm ready for signing a PDF.